Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So this tree that I have right in front of me, I just picked up about a week ago from the garden center. I'm actually really excited about this tree. This is probably one of my favorite things we're gonna be putting into the garden at my dad's house. Um, this is called a coral bark Japanese maple. I got the tag right here so I can give you guys all the information on this tree. Um, this is one of the few things that is not an evergreen that provides four full seasons of interest. Um, definitely a really awesome tree if you have the space to put it in. And it's more of an ornamental or kind of like a small to medium sized tree so I'd say a lot of people definitely will have the space to put this tree in their yards. Um, this tree, just for all the specifications, it's going to want full sun. Um, make sure that you water it well in when you first plant it in the ground. Um, since we're putting it in the ground in the fall, it's probably one of the best times to put this tree in the ground. But we're going to make sure that we keep up on watering at least for the next few weeks or so until we really start to get some frost and it starts to chill quite a bit. Um, the average size that this tree gets is it is moderate growing, so it's not super slow. It's probably one of the faster Japanese maples that grows. Um, it's going to reach 15 to 25 feet tall and then 15 to 20 feet wide. So a pretty good sized tree, but not anything too crazy. Um, the hardiness is in zones five through eight. Um, and what's really awesome about it, I would say the most particular thing about this is the bark that's on it. You know, it's called a coral bark Japanese maple. It has really, really bright red bark, kind of like a like an Arctic fire dogwood. Um, that's a really great example that this is like. Um, and then it's really cool because it has a limey green foliage um, throughout the spring and the summer. And right now it's in its full fall foliage right now. So it's a bright, bright yellow, contrasts really well with the red. And I'm actually really excited to show you guys where this tree is gonna be going. So let's take a look at that spot right now. So I'm in the back corner of our front yard and you can see that we have these castle spire hollies and then one castle wall that's on the end over here. Um, there's this really old lilac that's right on the corner. So we're actually gonna be taking this out today um, and then we're going to Basically, I would say plant the tree somewhere around this area. It's gonna be far enough away from the fence where it doesn't get too much in the way, um, but then it'll be separate from this row. So we're gonna take out this lilac first and then we'll plant the tree. So we took out the lilac. We just made a uh, pile right here for now, um, just because we're gonna actually take this out with a dump truck that we can borrow. Um, when we prune that pine tree back there, we have some branches that we're gonna prune for that pine tree um, as well. So we're just gonna take care of it all at once. So this pile can just sit here for now. It's not really too much in the grass. Um, so that can stay there. Um, so you can see it's nice and open into our neighbor's backyard. Um, and then you can see that this Japanese maple is now in place. We made a little well for it so that way it can get watered in well. Um, it, we don't have to worry about it too much since it's the fall and we're gonna be getting our first frost pretty soon. So this tree's gonna go dormant, but it still needs to stay consistently moist for now. Um, you can see this beautiful foliage. And I just wanted to mention too that this foliage, there we go, now it's in focus. Some of it's a little bit burned and whatever. It's because we had a really rough summer. We were in a pretty uh, bad drought. So it just was very stressed in its container. Um, but now that it's in the ground, the foliage next year that leafs out is gonna look much better. The other thing I wanted to mention about this tree is because it has this beautiful red bark. There we go, camera's having a hard time focusing today. But because it has that beautiful red bark, that's gonna match very well with these holly bushes that we have here. So you can see the red berries that these holly bushes have. So that was kind of the way I was thinking about having them tie in together. Um, and these hollies are evergreen. So those will continue to grow up and make some sort of like a green wall. And then this is gonna have that beautiful bark that is gonna go well with these. And then we'll make a little corner out of this. We'll make some sort of like a corner bed over here and we'll kind of have something go along this fence 
um, right over here. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions or comments on this Japanese maple, feel free to let me know. I'm very excited to see it grow out next year with new growth and seeing that really lime color that it has in the summertime because I've only seen this tree with its fall foliage, um, but I think it's gonna look beautiful in this space next year. So besides that, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one.